What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. I am on beautiful Atlantic Beach, Florida. We're down here on a work-related trip with Ocean Wave sunglasses, taking photos of new frames and new lenses that are about to hit the website. Monty Tirado Art has been hired for this job. Monty is the owner and operator of Lilycraft Corporation and has definitely been breaking her way into the fishing scene. Handmade artwork, logo designs, photos, illustrations for t-shirts, packaging. She has been a staple in the Panhandle area for these kind of photos and graphic design. And now she's in Jacksonville. You can find all of Monty's socials linked in the description of this video, also her website. Although this is a work-related trip, there will be some time for fishing. Let's get it out there. I should have about two hours each morning. We're gonna be here for five days to get out here and do some fishing. My target is definitely gonna be this pier back here. Did some research before I came, basically started scouting out the Facebook fishing forums in this area, seeing what they're catching this time of year. And they've been pulling a lot of sheeps up off that pier. So I've brought my seven footer all around a Ninja Dagger for that, for my pier fishing. I'll drop some knocker jigs down there, hopefully get my hands on some fiddler crabs, if not some live shrimp, and I've also brought my 10 foot bummy stick for casting heavier lures off the pier. I can also use that bummy stick for the surf, for set rig fishing or again, casting lures. Today is our outdoor photo shoot. So we're using today to get all the outside shots needed for the new frames and lenses. I have been hired by Madi to be used as her assistant. I need water. <laughs> she needs water. So after today, we will be in Ocean Waves headquarters doing photos for the website. We're gonna try to get this done as quick as possible today. We are battling the sun as far as light. It is pretty overcast, so we're kind of waiting for breaks in the clouds for that sun to beam through to get these shots. And if everything goes well, there should be time today to swing into St. Augustine to fish by straighten post. Absolutely love living in Perdido Key. Wouldn't change it for anything. But one thing about Perdido is it's a lack of like good mom and pop restaurants. So I'm always taking advantage on these trips to find these cool little local spots and they're everywhere in Jacksonville Beach. I saw this spot just past it down the road, Graffiti Burger and Bar. So I had to swing in to get some lunch. Let's go see what they got. Looking delicious guys. All right. Let's get some lines wet. Might have something on here. Yeah, we got a little something. We got a little something. Small hit. Come on. Got a lot of sandbar to deal with here in Jacksonville, y'all. Little whiting. Hit the clam, purple fish bites. All right, first fish of the morning. Great sign, guys. Ooh, water's pretty cold. All right, let's find some bigger ones. All right, guys, we are on day two of our trip. We did not have time to go by Fish Bites Trading Post yesterday. After we got done with all the pictures, we were exhausted. We did go meet the CEO of Ocean Wave Sunglasses at a local seafood spot last night and had dinner with him. Got all my gear ready for this morning. Got up about 5.45 and hit the beach. I did hug up against Jacksonville Beach Pier here. I figured that's my best opportunity for the time and the gear I have. I got about an hour and a half this morning. I've got one rod. So I wanted to get by some obvious structure. Fishing a whole new beach, guys. Jacksonville has huge swinging tides. Definitely something I'm not used to. So found some obvious structure and I'm looking for inconsistencies basically in the sand. You can find these washouts here in Jacksonville, which basically the sand is pushing back out. It's pretty obvious if you know what you're looking for. So I found one of those and I put my one line directly out in front of that. Just from studying Jacksonville Facebook groups, uh, fishing forums, things like that, I know they use a lot of clam here. So I do have some clam flavored fish bikes strapped on. Oh, another little hit here. So I got him. Yeah, he's on there. He's on there. All right. This little run out is paying off. Come on, get him over. Get him over this sandbar. Tighten that drag a bit. Come here. Come here. 
All right, another little whitey. Let's find some bigger ones. That's a keeper size for sure. We definitely have a productive morning catching fish. Let's strap on some easy flea. Our bite has turned off pretty quickly. Sun's starting to come up. So let's change up baits. I got about a half an hour and I got to get out of here. I'm just walking right here is where this runoff is that I'm talking about. As you can see it's all pushing here. There's definitely an inconsistency in the sand. So I'm putting my baits right out in front of that. I'm trying to get as deep as possible. I really don't know what's going on out there, trough wise or anything like that. Oh no, I got a swimmer heading right towards my line. <laughs> this is different. I don't see swimmers in Perdido in February. He is heading right to my line. I'm gonna pull it up. I wanted this guy to get frisky finned. Definitely a lot more beach trap than I'm used to in Perdido. Got swimmers, surfers, dogs all over the beach, people riding bikes up and down the beach. I don't have that like secluded feeling like I do back home. Being a lot more aware of my surroundings this morning. I'm sure there's a lot more like isolated spots around here to fish, but again, because of the time frame I had to fish, I wanted to get by some obvious structure, this pier. This is close to the Airbnb I'm staying. So if I have time later today, I might scout up and down the beach, see if I can find like a more non-populated spot to fish in the morning. All right, let's get out of here. I'm not mad at that. Two whiting in about 45 minutes. I was able to find a spot that was productive. I wasn't feeling the cooler, but I caught some fish. I left out of there without being skunked. <laughs> we'll get a few more sessions in like this before we leave Jacksonville. I am gonna fish the pier also. I had some locals tell me about a local bait shop right here close. I'll be going by there probably this afternoon, picking up some live shrimp. I do have a bubbler with me. And then maybe tomorrow morning, I'll fish the pier, drop down for some sheep's head. All right guys, made it to Ocean Waves headquarters, Atlantic Beach, Florida. This is where everything goes down. This is where they actually make the glasses. So the components are shipped into here and to the office. Evan, Evan's a one man show. Any order that comes in, Evan's making it. Evan! How you doing, man? <laughs> this is where the magic goes down, y'all. Any Ocean Wave sunglasses that you order, including the prescription sunglasses, Evan here is making those. So what we're doing here, I think I mentioned it yesterday, is we are doing photos of the new frames and new lenses for the website. Yes, you like it. those? They look good on you. Mm -hmm. It's overwhelming in here. <laughs> so, so many choices. And the flags came in. Monte Tirado Art did these flags. They did come in. I think how many did you guys order? Like 80 of them? No, 40. <laughs> how many? 40. 40 of these flags, double-sided. You guys will see these on the beach. I will start flying this during my charters. All right, guys, get out of here. Been a long day. Tomorrow, we will finish up these photos for the website. Tomorrow morning, I'll be hitting Jacksonville Beach Pier. Dropping down some live shrimp probably for some sheep's head. If you guys are interested in seeing all what Ocean Waves has to offer, in the description of this video, you will see a link under Ocean Waves. If you click that, it'll take you right to the website. And if you order directly from that link, it'll save you $40 off your order. Hopefully tomorrow morning, we'll be getting on some better quality fish. Till next time, fishing buddies.